Today we're gonna look at 2000 Buick Park Avenue Ultra Supercharged. Finished in pearl white, the paint is nice and shiny with very few blemishes which I'm going to show you when I walk around it. The vehicle has a sunroof. Nice and shiny. The charge badges are supposed to be a little bit more touch up. touch-ups on the front bumper and a little bit of scratches on the lower skirt that's the condition of the lower skirt and a few more touch-ups on the front bumper oh, there is a little bit of touch-up on the hood Over, oh and this chrome trim has a well, scrape and missing a little bit and a bit more touch up in here okay let's start it up and smooth and even nicer under load front tire looks as if it has 40-50% left and it's Kumho uh, this rear one is all, also the same brand and it's about uh, it's about same 40-50% this one this is also Kumho and I would say this one is about 40-50% the same Let's check the last tire. This is not a Kumpo, it's a Saloon, something like that. I'm not sure what it is. And this one has about 90, 90-95% thread left. It says check coolant level. The coolant level is absolutely correct. The coolant sensor is no good. We will replace it before the vehicle sells. Other than that, there are no warning lights whatsoever. The engine sounds very nice. And we go and take it. 
for a test drive in a minute let me just check some of the options this is air conditioner and it is blowing cold it is blowing actually very cold I cannot check heat right now since it's like 85 almost 90 degrees outside so I'm not gonna feel any difference it does have heated seats I'm not sure if I'll be able to feel it but I can hear relay clicking and I see that the lights come on okay this vehicle has driver and passenger climate controls so both the driver and the passenger can set different temperatures okay let's check windows driver window is fully automatic goes up uh, I'm sorry goes down and up you have to actually hold it let's check the passenger one okay up and down That's actually as far as it goes. It doesn't go any lower than that. Let's check the last window. Okay, we also have a sunroof here. Let's see if this one works. Yep, nice and sunny. The headliner is in good condition this is the overhead console this is the passenger sun visor okay let's close it and the rest of the headliner is just as nice heads-up display doesn't work I tried moving it it actually seems like it's moving in there but there is nothing displayed that's the most common issue to go bad okay let's check the radio works and I can also control temperature from the steering wheel as well which which is very nice okay let's take it for a spin let me turn the radio off okay this also has a small uh, built-in compass right here which tells you whether you go in east west nice ride which every Buick has it's nice and soft it's almost floating over the road okay. I don't even feel how the transmission shifts it's so smooth and all those bumps I barely feel them this is not a race car it's not made to well it has a supercharger yes but it's not really meant to be driven aggressively yet we will give it a little bit more gas to see how the supercharger feels in a second let me just take it on an even road
charger works and definitely gives a lot of boost it actually feels very good and very strong there are a few more things I want to check before I end up this video I noticed that there is power <laughs> uh, mirrors and power door locks so hold on let us check that Oh, maybe. Oh, because it's dry. Oh, well, let's try this one. Okay. Okay, lock works. And lock works too. Let me try on this one. Okay, lock. Unlock. It's a little weird. But it does work. Hmm. Let's check the mirrors. It says heated mirror right on it. Left, right, up, down. Let's check the other one. Left, right, up, down. Okay. And also it has memory for seats. Well, which does work. Up, 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 up. They are both the same, so... Uh, you know what? We can also check a few more functions. Horn. That works. And let's check lights. And turn signals. I have left turn signal. Which is working. And I have lights. Let's check the back for the left turn signal. signal okay. Okay, flashers yeah, apparently they work oh, let's see oh we have manual here You know what? I haven't showed any of the seats. I'm going to show them right now. Sorry guys. I don't usually do those videos. So. There are more than just, well, they're like one and a half book. <laughs> okay. It's hard to... And the light is falling off. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. This light is falling off. And there are two keys and one remote control. By the way, let's check the remote control while we're on it. Oh, it locks. Okay. And it unlocks. Locks. Unlocks. The whole car. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, let me show you the seats. This is the driver's seat. It has just a little bit of wear right here on the back. Oh, and there is a little tiny, tiny rip right here. And there is a little bit of just normal wear on the seat itself. And it does have side airbag built into the seat. Let's check. Up, back. Up, down. Okay, this works too. Wow. That's lumbar. It's being deflated and then it's being inflated. And it goes up. And it goes down. Huh. Lumbar works. Let's check the back seat. Door panels are nice by the way 
and uh, the seats in the back are so much better than the front ones. I'm not saying that the front ones are, are bad, but the back ones are better. Okay, that's the center armrest. It has a storage compartment right here. It also has two cup, cup holders. And it also has a ski compartment. If you have skis in the winter, you can put your skis coming right from the trunk into the cabin. There's a storage here. The seats nice, clean, no rips and tears. There we go. This is the driver door panel. Nice, clean, intact. Let's go check the other side. You know what? I also want to show you the trunk. That'd be nice. Okay, this is this door panel. Nice, clean. And the seat. Forward, backward, down, up. Okay, it does not, it's making the noise, but it's not going up or down. The back does work. Lumbar does partially work. It inflates and deflates, but doesn't go up or down. Okay, and this also has a built-in side airbag. Showed from the other side, but still, here we go. Compartment, yeah. Let's check the trunk. Oh, the trunk opens with just the push of a button, and the trunk area is nice and clean. Let's see if we have a spare. Oh, we do have a spare, and a jack, and a wrench, right here. This is the emergency fuel door release, in case it would not open for some reason. Trunk closes, and, uh, oh, lights. No why it's beeping. Okay. So, Let's finish our test drive and walk around. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a 2000 Buick Park Avenue Ultra. Uh, shoot us any questions and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.